Right. Common side effects, yeah, may affect up to one in ten people, including inflammation of the nose or nasal passage, pain in the throat, nosebleed. Allergy reaction increases in blood sugar levels. If you have diabetes, continue carefully monitoring of your blood sugar levels, increasing blood, cretin, king's air, headaches, nausea, constipation, wind, indigestion, diarrhea, joint, joint pain, pain, muscle pain, back pain, Blood tests results that show your liver function can become abnormal. Uh, sugar levels get high. If you have diabetes, you should continue carefully monitoring of your blood sugar levels. Having nightmares, insomnia, dizziness, numbness or tingling in the fingers and toes. Reduction of sensation to pain or touch, change in sense of taste, loss of memory, blurred vision, ringing in the ears and or head, vomiting, belching, abnormal pain, upper and lower, pancreas inflammation of the pancreas leading to stomach pain, hepatitis, liver inflammation, rash, skin rash, Itching, hives, hair loss, neck pain, muscle failed you, failed you, feeling unwell, weakness, chest pains, swelling, especially in the ankles, raised temperature, yeah, unexpected bleeding or bruising, yellowing of the skin and whites of the eyes. Possible side effects reported with some Saturn medicines of the same type. Sexual difficulties, depression, breathing problems include persistent cough, shortness of breath or fever, diabetes, this is more likely if you have high levels of sugar and fats in your blood, are uh, overweight and have high blood pressure. Your doctor will monitor you while you are taking this medicine. You know, since I've been taking this medicine for about a year, my doctor hasn't said nothing to me. He hasn't been monitoring me, nothing. Possible side effects reported with some certain medication, the same type. Breathing problems. Diabetes. This is more likely if you have high levels of sugar. If any of the side effects get serious, or if you notice any side effects not listed in this leaflet, please tell your doctor or pharmacist. Let's have a look. That's just this. Now, let's see what it's for. What's it called? What is aforstatin? And what it is used for? Do not take aforstatin if you have hypertensive to aforstatin or similar medication used to lower blood sugar levels. If you have ever had a disease which affects the liver, if you have had any unexplained abnormal blood tests for liver function. See, I've had abnormal blood tests for liver function, but they're still telling me to take this medication. You know, and they're not monitoring me, they're just giving it to me. You know, this is what I can't understand, and that's just one of them. And there's more. This is called, what's this called? Atrophostatin. That's that one. Uh, put this one in here now, let's see. Because now that explains chest pains, why I'm getting chest pains. Because I'm taking this. Now this one is for what? This one's called Cysicin. 
processing. What is this? What is it for? Useful. What you need to know before you take, do not take cytosine. If you have glow, hang on. Take special care with cytosine. If you have glaucoma, have obstructive disease of the gastrointestine tract, have liver disease, suffer from epilepsy, are male, have an enlarged prostate and severe heart failure, have an inherited disease called paroma, have been told by your doctor that you have an intolerance to some sugars. Okay, what's it for? Possible side effects, anyway. Let's see what it's for first. Side effects. Skin rashes or itchiness, drowsiness or general feeling of weakness, tiredness, headaches, a dry mouth, nose or throat, blurred vision, involuntary rolling of the eyes, fast heartbeat, difficult in passing water, well, I don't pass any anyway. Constipation, restlessness, nervousness, difficult in sleeping, seeing or hearing things that are not really there, hallucination, temporary loss of movement or feeling, in regular body movements, unusual body movements, particularly of your hands, arms or legs, muscle twitches, I get all these things, Tremors, fits, seizures. I get seizures with my feet. Sometimes I can't even walk when I sit down too long, you know that. Being confused, disorientated, or unaware, dizziness, decreased consciousness, loss of temporary, loss of consciousness, consciousness, temporary difficult in speaking, high blood pressure. Low blood pressure, pins and needles, that's the side effects from this cytosine. What cytosine tablets look like and contents of the pack. So what's it used for though? <laughs> what's it used for what tablets are and what they are used for? Tablets may be used for the following conditions. Travel and motion sickness plus operative no noisier and vomiting. Vomiting associated with cancer treatment. <laughs> Why are they giving me this for? Treatment of sickness due to inner ear problems such as whatever disease. What you need to know before you take it. See, they prescribe me these now for sickness, yeah? But what I can't understand, yeah, is these vomiting associated with cancer treatment. Treatment of sickness due to inner ear problems. Now, I don't have inner ear problems, you know? I may feel sick from time to time, you know? So all these things here, I don't know whether they're necessary, you know? Whether it's making me worse, you know? Because don't forget, I get all these side effects, yeah? I can go out there after taking my daily dose of medication and a car could hit me down because I'm not in my right mind, you know that? Because all of these, yeah? Suppose I'm walking the road and my legs seize up on me. You know, I won't be able to get across the road fast enough, so there's a lot to it, you know? It's not just... Now, what else have I got here? Right, let's see this one. This is called Bisopromio. Let's see what this is for. What is Brunei Prime in and what it is for? Bris, bristle prolog, what it is for. Right. 
Russell Prolia Pharma, right, belongs to the group of medicine products that are indicated as beta blockers. They protect their heart from too much activity. Bristol Prona Fama Rate is used to treat heart failure, causing breathlessness on exertion of fluid retention. In this instant, Bisoprania may be given as a additional treatment to other medications for heart failure. Yeah, so I'm using this now for heart failure, but I don't have heart failure, so I can't understand what's going on really. I wish a doctor would sit down and explain to me more in detail, you know, because like, this frightens me when I read these sort of things, that it's for heart failure and I haven't got heart failure. Right, what you need to know before you take Bisoprolia Femorate. Do not take Bisoprolia if you are allergic to Bisoprolia Femorate or any of the other ingredients of this medication listed in section 6. Let me see. Right, if you have a slow heart rate less than 60 beats per minute, ask your doctor if you are sure. If you have very low blood pressure, if you have severe blood circulation problems which may cause your fingers and toes to tingle or turn pale or blue, if you have certain serious heart rhythm problems, if you have heart failure which has just occurred or is not stabilised and is requiring hospital treatment, if you have a condition in which there is an accumulation of excessive acid in the body known as metabolic adisos, your doctor will be able to advise you if you suffer from a tumour or adrenaline glands known as puffer, I don't know, which is untreated. Warnings, precaution, talk to your doctor. Let's see side effects. There is so far no therapeutic experience of bioscience treatment of heart failure in patients with the following disease and conditions. Diabetes treated with insulin type 1, severe kidney disease, severe liver disease, certain heart disease, heart attack within three months. Treatment of heart failure. This is all for treatment for heart failure, you know that? That's what he's saying here. So why are they prescribing it to me? I haven't had no heart failure. Maybe they're working on my heart. They're trying to work on it because why are they giving me this medication? This is for people who've got cancer, heart problems and things like that. I don't have any heart problems. So why take things where you don't have the problem in the first place because it becomes a problem because your heart gets used to these things. Because if, if this is there to help the heart here yeah, and I haven't got heart problems, yeah, sooner or later I'm going to need this for my heart. I might not need it now but sooner or later I will need it. And this is Lancer Lancer Prazzo. This is for ulcer and things. Because I'm not sure if I've got an ulcer. So I know what this is for. But all the other tablets are dangerous. This is the one where I have to use two times before a meal. Two, two tablets before a meal. It's a binder. It helps to get rid of the phosphate. Because if I don't take this, my body will get phosphate and it will clog up the, fas the vessels and the blood won't be able to flow through smoothly. So this is good really. I understand what this is for. So I take this one because I understand, you know? And sometimes, uh, according to what the instruction says, it's a blood thinner. It thins, you make sure your veins running nicely because I've been getting some chest pains so I started to take these before a meal 
This is good. So I'll take these. This is good. Well, I presume it's good. I never know if it's good or not. And then I take Dispirin, another aspirin, Dispirin, thins the blood to help the blood run more smoother, thin, thins the blood so it runs through the veins and vessels more smoother. So that one's got some use to it. This one is the same heart tablet. I keep getting heart tablets, heart, heart, heart. Like they're working on my heart for some unknown reason, you know. I haven't got a problem with my heart, I've got a problem with my kidneys. Soon I won't have any liver or heart left for them to play about with. All these tablets are for the heart, you know. Where's the blood pressure one? So I haven't got one blood pressure one. And my blood pressure's been 200 and I've been telling the nurses all this week. What's this one? Another dyspirin, sort of this aspirin. This one is another blood pressure tablet. No, this ain't blood pressure, this is kidney. Now what is this for? Oh, this is for the heart. Everything's for the heart, like they're working on my heart, like they want to damage my heart. Eh? They want to finish me off. I'm here for my kidneys. Alright, they damaged my kidneys, now they want to play about with my heart. I have to take my time. This is for the kidneys. Meant to heal the kidneys. I better take one of these now and do. If, 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 if God is willing, maybe a bit of luck, my kidneys might come back. Who knows? And this is what? This is for depression. When I get depressed, I'm to take this. You know? No, I don't like taking these false tablets, depression and things like that. I don't like taking them. You know, because they damage your eyes. This is the one where you get eyes affect. You know, read the instructions on this, it damages your eyes. So I have to be careful. Otherwise I might not see to tell the story if I'm not careful. Possible side effects. What's the side effect? Sore throat, anorexia, increased appetite, depression, feeling strange, nightmares, anxiety, nervousness, teeth grinding, numbness, tingleness, shaking, muscle tense, abnormal taste, lack of attention, facial disturbances, ringing in the ears, hot flushes, Yawning, abnormal pain, constipation, upset stomach, gas, rash. Okay, excuse me. <laughs>